Uh, we had a mandatory evacuation beginning at 8 o'clock yesterday morning. Uh, we asked all our residents to leave. We did give them 12 hours to uh, go ahead and board up their windows or do whatever they needed to do to uh, uh, secure their homes. Uh, 8 p.m. last evening, uh, we made it mandatory that everybody had to leave. And throughout the night, we've been making sure that uh, people have left and that things are secure. Um, all of it, everybody was evacuated out at 8 p.m. Uh, we know we do have some stragglers. Uh, a few incidents did happen overnight, but really overall it was a very smooth process of evacuation. Uh, the biggest thing we wanted to express our appreciation to everybody, including our residents, uh, that got up and uh, left and obeyed the, the evacuation order. Um, this is something that's always very difficult because, uh, you know, just like them, I had to leave my home and I know how hard it is, so we really appreciate their cooperation in that matter. And not to be morbid, uh, we, our fire chief has talked, said, you know, uh, the message that they went and talked to is go ahead and give me your next of kin now uh, because, you know, we don't know what it's going to be and we're going to be very limited in what we can do once a storm hits to be able to save somebody. You wouldn't arrest anyone who tried to stay, though, would you? I can't say we wouldn't. Um, depending on the severity of the crime or what happened, but you mean, oh, as far as actually staying? If they refuse to leave, would you arrest them? It depends. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not saying we would, not saying we wouldn't.